Well, first, I, I want to start off and congratulate the Rangers. You know, it was a, it was a heck of a series. You know, he, both teams were worthy of it. You know, they play a great brand of baseball. And you know what? Best record in the American League. It's not easy to do. And, I mean, he, he, once you get into playoffs, it's a coin toss. And, and you know, um, you, you got to get some breaks. You know, we, 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 we turned this month over and we got really hot and we're playing great baseball. So, but tip your hat to those guys. You know, they play got a great team. But, um, well, you know, I, I, I've said many times, I think Josh and, and Russ – were the first two real newcomers here the, of the group that's in there. And for one thing, they brought some toughness to us. I, I don't, you know, the previous couple of years, I didn't think we had enough of that. Uh, and I mean, that's kind of the reputation. You know, uh, I, we, I'd, seen, I'd seen Josh from afar playing in Oakland, knew what he was about. You know, he'd rub you wrong. Don't get, you know, don't misconceive everything. But, uh, I mean, that's just his style of, style of baseball. We got him, and that rubbed off on our guys. And, you know, I'd seen Russell a little bit. Uh, but his reputation is the same way, hard-nosed guy. And he, I mean, Russ is the backbone of this team. And uh, But then, of course, like, you know, we added some similar type players, trade deadline. You know, the ones that are still here is, you know, Tulowitzki, same type guy. Um, and that made a big difference because, you, you, you know, you can have a, a ton of talent, but if you don't have some toughness, some gamers, and some guys that are really motivated every day to win, you know, you can come up empty. A couple more for John. Right here, uh, right there on the end. John, I know uh, you know around this time of year everybody's banged up, but just going back to Josh, how hard has it been on him? Um, you know, with the injuries, but just seeing what what he's doing, the defense, you know, how aggressive he is running the bases. Well, I mean, he, he is banged up. You know, he, he plays every day. You know, but there's a few of them out there as well. And um, you know, he's he's mentioned to me a couple times the last couple of years too, late in the season, that I'm I'm riding him into the ground. You know. Uh, when you're an MVP caliber player, you're supposed to be out there, I assume, right? No, that's a joke. But, uh, you know, he makes things happen. You know, you, you know, you look at that game. You know, Matt Bush was dealing. I mean, what a, what a job he did. And then, uh, you know, Josh comes up with the, you know, not trying to hit a home run, just took that, you know, great swing, the double in the gap to set that all up. Um, but that's, you know, for a guy that's a, really a true slugger, I mean, he, he uses the whole field. He's a smart player. I mean, he'll take a single when, that, when, that, when that's more valuable than sitting there trying to yank everything. Uh, so that's, uh, I mean, that's really, but those two guys are the first guys here that you see in that group out there that kind of change the culture a little bit. Aaron Front. John, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, what was your take on the whole game? I mean, Texas refused to go away, and each time or three of the four times they put uh, runs on the board, your team... Uh, uh, team answered. Well, you know, I, I thought it was it was a battle for Sanchi. You know, as um, as good as he's been this year, I mean, they were tough on him down there in Texas earlier in the season. And I mean, they, you know, they arguably had the best lineup, best team in, in baseball. You look at what they've done. You know, this. I mean, the American League is loaded, but they're right there at the top. And um, so, but it was a battle. You know, they. Uh, I mean, they got such a good team. You, you knew they weren't going to go down without fighting. That, that's for sure. But yeah, you know, they they scored, and it was key. I think when we bounced back. Got on the board, and then it was back and forth. One of those, and it really came down to the end. Both teams pretty much used up their bullpen trying to win that thing. And uh, you know, from our point of view, I mean, really a big win because you know we we used Asuna for two innings, and you know, there's a good chance he couldn't have pitched tomorrow. Uh, so we were rolling the dice there, and uh, and you got and you know what you got to get some breaks in this game too. You know that you know the, the game ending play. That's I mean that's not a normal big league type ending to a game. You see it occasionally because you know things. You know, good base running's involved, guys busting it, what what have you, and you put pressure on guys. But I mean, that's 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 kind of rare. Uh, but you know, a lot of times when things are going your way, that's the kind of things that things that happen. Richard, how do you feel about moving on for a second year in a row? And and in these three games, it looked like like every strength of your team was sort of on display at different times. Well, Richard, what we what we do, and you know, we get criticized a lot for it. Is is we're, we're very rely we rely upon that home run ball. I mean, that's you know what. Whether you like it or not, that's kind of the players we have. And, uh, you know, if you, when you, get, when you run into a little drought, you know, you come up empty a lot of nights, you know, low-scoring games, that kind of thing. So, but really, it was, a, it was a tough September. We battled. We really picked it up at the end just to get in. And since the months turned over to October, you know, I mean, it kind of looks like the old team. But um, pitching's held up very good all year. 
Uh, and, you know, we're, we're leaning heavy on that bullpen. That's why I think, I, you know, you don't win this tonight. You know, we're not feeling too good tomorrow because, I mean, we are banged up. Now you, know, you get a few days off to catch your breath a little bit, which is, is really, really big for our group, I think. So, uh, but, you know, we are who we are. You know, we, we, got, we have to slug it out. That's really our identity. And there's not a lot you can do about it. And when, when, when that's off, it's off, you know. Oh, yeah. You know what? What a great thrill. You know, we, uh, you know, we had that big series with Texas last year down and came back and won that. New experience for a lot of us, you know, myself and a lot of guys on the team, except maybe, you know, three or four of them. So that was very gratifying. And we liked our team coming in. And but like I said, it was a battle getting in. Now that we're in, you know, we're we're enjoying it a little more. You know, I I sensed this whole series more of a calmness, you know, confidence than, than I than I felt last year with everybody. And that's you know that's experience and, and the belief that they can do something. And uh, but yeah, I mean, who knows what, who the opponent is? But I think it's huge that we get a few days off anyway. And then uh, you know we match up good against Boston. We match up good. We've had some we've had some barn burners against Cleveland this year. So we'll wait wait and see what happens. Take two more, starting on the back left. Gibby, thanks for taking the quick shower to rush in here. Uh, with the six wins in a row, is it better to kind of keep going? Or you mentioned a little bit about it, having the four days off. Is that going to help guys like Travis, Liriano, even Benoit? Oh, yeah. You know, I don't think it'll do much for Benoit, you know, at, at this moment. But everybody else needs it. And primarily, really, our pitching staff, you know, with those bullpen guys. Because, uh, you know, I have confidence in them all. But, you know, these last few weeks have been leaning on – Guys, you know what they can do, uh, and they're pretty gassed right now. You know, you know that's why you know you, you're glad the game ended when it you know when it did. If it keeps going, no telling. But from that end of it, you know, I think we desperately need some a couple of days off from the momentum type thing. Yeah, you'd like to keep playing, but you know, I think the, the time off would be a little more valuable to us. One more on the end. John, we heard uh, Travis was available potentially. Was there a point in the game, late in the game, when it was close that, that it was an option for you that you considered bringing him in? Well, he, he was available in an emergency type situation. You know, somebody goes down, that kind of thing. Otherwise, you know, we we're just going to let it ride, you know. But, you know, I think hopefully these few days will help him out too.